Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap. This is Drake Lord 56 the hero you're better off without. Well, loads of shit happened. First of all, the, uh, well, the a sorcerer named Vadi uh, pretty much tore shit up in the castle's courtyard, which included breaking the sacred Pecori blade, assaulted several of the uh, king's guard, and uh, turned Princess Zelda to stone. So, yeah, yeah, now we're gonna have to go find them, Pecori, and find a way to fix the Pecori blade. Let's do this. The rolling is gonna make things much more quick. Yep, hello, <laughs> I almost got hit by that rock. Alright then. So according to the map that we got from the Master Smith, we have to uh, go to the very south east corner. Ah, can't go this way. I guess this is part of body's rampage. Alright, so, yeah, I guess we're gonna have to take the long way around. Lots of stuff that we can't exactly uh, get to. <laughs> it's green! <laughs> yeah, we could, this kind of... Stuff that's happening as well. Yeah, I can't exactly get back to the higher hotel. Well, what the hell was that, Jeff? What the hell? Alright, then. Here we are. Done. So, yeah. Lock across those gold things. So, like to tote them on, on each other, which are incredibly easy to dispatch, especially with my button mashing. <laughs> and I suppose this is the way to the Minish Woods. Yep. All right. Kind of pretty those little, little streams of light coming down. Still the same rabble of enemies we've been seeing, except without the bold things. Man, so much stuff to do around here that we can't do yet. Oh, looks like you if we got shoes. Yeah, I can't exactly do any uh, spin attacks either. I'm holding the button right now. Say. And 
Vati! Vati's cursed someone. What? The Sacred Blade? You read my mind or so much? I'm barely saying anything. Is that so? I see, I see. <laughs> you know, I have quite a lot in common. You see, I too am on a quest to break a curse of Vati's. And you say that reforging the Sacred Blade can break his curse, eh? Well then, you found yourself a companion, my boy. My name is uh, Slow. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Nice to meet you, too. What? Is there something I'm on face? Quest 7, it's rude. Okay, then, uh... Let's just continue the way I was going before. Wait, wait, I say! You walk so quickly! Too quickly, in fact! Can't you go any slower? Surely you've noticed I have no legs. Uh, is this slow enough for you? Hey! Boy, take a good look at me! Do you really think I can walk that fast? Um... This slow enough for ya? Dude? That's low. <laughs> if it's one... If it's one thing, it's another! You are a troublesome boy! Now you can't possibly leave me behind! Okay, whatever! My! It's quite comfortable up here! More comfortable than it looks, surely! And much easier on me! Hey, quit squirming! Can't you sit still? See? There! Yes, yes, that's it! Much better! Now, I suppose a boy like you still has much to learn about the world! If you ever need my insight, press select! I'll be happy to help. As a hope, oh, such a hopeless child. Oh, I... I don't know. I just found that funny. The... Concerning the voice I inadvertently gave him. Hold on for a moment, my boy. We stumbled across something important. Oh, the world of Minish is very small. You're far too big to beat him now. Okay. World of Minish. Ah, yes, yeah, silly me. Allow me to escape. explain. <laughs> I'm just beginning to remind myself of Scratch from the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog now. <laughs> you humans call them Bikori, but they prefer themselves as the Minish. Strange how in the world of humans, only this forest has kept that name. Anyhow, deep in the forest, they built a tiny village where many of them now live. But if we run into the village, we'll have to make you a touch smaller first. Look at that. At first glance, it appears to be a mere stump, yes? No! That stump is a portal used by people long ago to adjust their size. With my help, we can use it to shrink down to diminish size. Just stand on the stump and press the hard to shrink. Pagak! In return, to return to normal, stand next to the stump and press R. Get me up there and we'll give it a try! Alright, let's do it! And there we are! Fun size! Welcome to the world for the eyes of the Minish! Now, aren't you glad you saved me? No need to thank me, though! Portals that reduce your size are all around in different shapes and sizes. If you want to return to the normal, stand next to a portal and press R. As I stated before. But if there's one thing you must know, being mid size is full of dangers. Near portals at your normal size are bottled slugs to diminish. And as your companion, if anything bad happens to you, it happens to me too. So I'll proceed with caution, my lad. If not for your sake, then for my own. All right, let's go do it. Yeah, just to as a demonstration. Yep, <laughs> drowning in that little little, little stream. <laughs> but we can now actually go through here. And we have to wait for these lily pads to come around. So, crap! Let's 
right here! There, I keep... <laughs> I didn't drown that time! No, I just love how they do this. It's just like, they show you the enormity of everything else around you. Now that you're this small. Here we are, the Minish Village. It appears we have found the Minish Village! Hey, they're cute! Pickle! Pickle! Ah, now I see why humans call them the Picori. Because that, they do do, like, Pokemon speak. <laughs> You're kind of scared. I gather it's been quite some time since you last saw a human. What's that? You didn't you didn't understand what they were saying just now? Ah yes, that was the language of the Minish. It's a little different from the dialect I'm most familiar with. I'm afraid I didn't catch most of what they said myself. But perhaps there is someone here who can understands your language. We should look around. All right then. I just love the <laughs> little house made on his shoe. That's cute. <laughs> yep, and we got stuff to uh, break open this around here as well. M mushroom houses. One made out of a pot. Of course, we can't exactly talk to any of these fellas. Alright. And, um... This place looks important. Hmm. I've never seen an outfit quite like that before. Are you, uh, human? I am, yes. Oh my, it's been quite some time since any humans came here. My name is Fastari. I watch the Abbey, as well as the Shrine to the North. You seem to be having some trouble with our language, don't you? Yeah, we can't understand a damn word. You should use a jabber nut. It will allow you to understand our tongue, somehow. You should be able to find one in the barrel outside of... Meh, in the barrel house just south of here. Alright, cool, thanks man. Let's go to this barrel house. I think I found it. Hey, fella. Oh dear, how uh, will we ever get around these boxes? Oh, Link! This must be the Japanese nut Fistari told you about. Forgot? Well, you better eat it if you plan on making any progress at all! Alright, now let's test this out. So you've eaten the Japanese nut and now you can understand us. The elders said that humans can no longer see us once they... as they once could. It's amazing they can see us! Well, the, the legends say that only children can actually uh, see you guys. So let's go talk to Fistari again. Now that we can actually understand the rest of the Minish. Hey guys! You probably haven't noticed, but lots of Minish live right in Hyrule Town. I'm getting a... I'm gonna set to leave for town and visit some of my Minish friends there. We Minish live in Hyrule Town and other places too, not just in these woods. Cool. So they're all over hell. So you've eaten the Jabbernaut, and now you can understand us. Sorry, but I know little about swords. I'm sure the Elder can help you. Oh, we're gonna have to, uh, speak with the Elder now, so, uh, well, looking at, uh, how much time there is, there's probably not very much left in this episode, so we're, we're gonna have to talk to the, uh, the Elder in the next episode, so if you like this one, 
hit the like button, comment on it, and if you want, subscribe. So until next time, see you later!